know each other. They played together on some junior national teams. Jones with a step back, left it short, tipped into the hands of Nembhard. Nembhard really good at pushing the ball up court. Great pass. And the finish for E.K. Gonzaga has the lead. A very, very experienced team. Just about everybody back from last year, including the guy with the ball now, a sophomore, Braden Smith. Oh, wow. that was pretty. Braden over Braden. And Gonzaga's got a lot of lefties they can play with he and E.K. Through the hands of Gillis, Ben Gregg will finish. And that's an awfully nice thing. You, know, you bring a healthy Cameron Heidi into the equation as well. He's in there right now for Purdue. And how about this? And he was good last year as a freshman. How about the steps that it looks like Braden Smith is continuing to take as a sophomore? Well, I think both Warrior and, and Smith wore down a little bit last year as freshmen. That's Ooh. not going to happen this year. Ryan Nemhard with a three and a little look at the Purdue bench on his way back down the... Nemhard from the free throw line follows up his own miss, but it comes to Jones again a two on one. And again, Jones will finish. It's a one point game. Played in the Little League World Series. That's cool. Stromer the spin and the oh. finish. What a play! To lose a couple of games while you're learning about your teams, but that's the kind of field they've got this year. Yeah, one thing that Mark Hughes learned about his team is they can really guard. This is an ex what, what a stop and go move. Gonzaga has made Purdue into individual playmakers. They don't have a ton of assists now. They've missed some shots, and those are the easy ones. And that's what Purdue needs to continue to do is a high percentage look to say the least for Zach Eady, who's up to 17 right now. Purdue's just two for 11 from beyond the arc. And they certainly have some shooters. Lawyer goes inside. Edie tips it home. He's got 19. That's a great look. And that's a sweet reverse for Jones. Outstanding transition offense for Purdue. The players are going to look back and say, you know Zach Edie's in there, right? <laughs> Looks great in the huddle. 7-4, <laughs> What a feed. From Smith to Heidi, who just snuck in from the corner to slam it. Great job getting to some of the best fields in pre-conference basketball tournaments year after year. Boy, how pretty was that? The presence of Edie caused that miss. Smith forces it up, and it goes! In Gonzaga, they will inbound to end it. And it's going to be some kind of fun to see Tennessee taking on Purdue tomorrow. Big time game coming.